guys, welcome back to my channel. I, so I'm doing a look for Wheelahan's Pharmacy today. I've done another one previously and it went very well. Everything in this look can be found in the pharmacy that I work in. So you can come in and talk to me and buy some of the products and talk to some of the other girls as well and get advice and whatnot on makeup and beauty related skincare, whatever you want. So if you enjoyed this look and you want to recreate it, stay tuned for the full tutorial. So first off I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm using the Ceramide Foundation in the colour Bisque. This Ceramide Foundation is actually amazing at lasting throughout the day and it's something I really reach for quite often. It's a little bit of a thicker consistency, it's more full coverage so if it's something that you don't like, maybe a full coverage foundation, this wouldn't be the one for you. And I'd recommend the Flawless Finish Foundation from Elizabeth Arden because it's much more lightweight. I'm gonna just apply this to the areas of my face where I need a bit of coverage. Next I'm going to apply one of my favourite concealers actually at the moment, I've been using this a ton and this is the Elizabeth Adams Ceramide Lift and Firm Foundation, Foundation, Concealer and it's in the number 2 Fair and I love to just apply this underneath my eyes just to brighten up that area because we know how bad the bags get from time to time so we need to conceal them. This will just give the illusion that I am more awake than I actually am. Just gonna blend that all out with a pointed brush. So next I'm moving on to powder and this may seem like a strange thing to do but I've been doing this a lot lately too. It's taking the Catrice Absolute Eye Colour in number 670 Vanilla and Charles and it looks like that. It's just a vanilla kind of colour but when you place this underneath your eyes it seems to just brighten them up a little bit more and there's a tiny hint of shimmer in it, not like I mean minuscule hint of shimmer in it and that kind of illuminates underneath that underneath the eye area also. So next I'm going to take my pressed powder and this is from Elizabeth Arden, this is the flawless finish one and it looks like that on the inside. This is a gorgeous pressed powder, it's in the number 3 medium and I just find that it's amazing at just mattifying my foundation. I'm just going to apply that all over my face, avoiding under the eye because we want to keep that area bright. Next I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing and contouring and I'm taking this Sun Glow from Catrice. This is for darker skin or you know you don't need to have really dark skin. It's just something that I want to contour with. I'm taking it on a little angle brush like that. These are from Fifth Avenue. You can get them in Wheelan's Pharmacy as well. And I'm just going to contour out or you know chisel out the illusion that I have cheekbones. And I'm just going to push that product into that area. Then you want to take just a big powder brush and just kind of blend out that area just to um, make it a little bit more seamless. Next for bronzing I'm going to bronze up the temples of my face and I'm just going to bronze up just the top of my forehead. So next I'm going to add a little bit of blusher and I'm taking Blushing Pink from Elizabeth Arden. This is just one of my favourite Elizabeth Arden blushes. Um, the majority of them are all amazing but this one just, I don't know, it's just my kind of colour. I just think that adds the nicest flush to your face. So next I'm going to take my Elizabeth Arden, um, this is like an angle brush and I'm just going to use it just to kind of buff out everything that I applied on my face to kind of make sure that there is no harsh lines including the blusher and everything like that just to make sure that everything is seamless on my face and that you can't kind of see any you know lines like nobody wants to see lines on their face it just doesn't look good. So next I'm going to do the eyes and I'm taking some tape you can take whatever you want you can use tissue paper for this 
A lot of people think that this is just hilarious, the fact I stick sellotape to my face. But it gives me a really defined line and once you take it off, everything's like real crisp and clean and neat and I just find it's really effective. So I just put it at an angle just from my corner of my eye going up to the corner of my eyebrow. Just zoom it in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So first off I'm going to take this duo from Elizabeth Arden. This is called the Cafe Olay duo and as you can see I like this one a lot. Both colours in this duo are matte and I'm going to go in with the brown one just placing this with a fluffy brush in my crease. So this is like a really charcoal type brown colour and I'm just going to place it in the crease just to add a bit of definition to this look. So you just want to keep going back and forward like that, just blending it out. Again, this is just a transition colour, just to kind of deepen up the crease, just to give a little bit more definition. Next I'm going to go in with the Nude palette from Catrice. This is a gorgeous palette. The only problem with it is everything is shimmery in it, but if you have a couple of matte shades in your collection, this is a really go-to palette. I'm really loving this lately. I never even thought to pick it up before, but recently I've been using it a lot. It just has quite um, shimmery, taupey type shades. And it's really good for creating kind of that wintry look because they're all cool tone shades. So it's great for like autumn and winter looks. And this particular colour here is what I'm going to use next. So I'm going in with that in a flat brush. I'm just going to pick up that particular colour there. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid area. Keeping under that dark brown colour that we applied into the crease. I'm not going to go too, too crazy with the eyes. I just want something a little bit dramatic but not too overwhelming because the lips are going to be kind of like the, the, the main feature of this look. I'm taking that fluffy brush again. I'm just going to go back and forward, blending those two shadows together just so that they marry a little bit better on the lid. And if you lose any intensity from the cream shadow that you applied to the lid, just go back in with it and go back in then with your brush to blend it all out. You just need to go back and forward between those two. That's how you'll get more of a kind of smoky slash <laughs> blended eye look. Again, going in with that nude palette from Catrice, I'm gonna take this really, really light color up at the top and I'm gonna take it on a flat top brush again. And I'm just going to apply this color into my inner tear duct and just along the lower lashes, just in that area there. And you can see straight away from this eye to that eye that it's a little bit brighter. Next I'm going in with that Cafe Olay duo again from Elizabeth Arden. I'm taking the creamy matte colour and I'm just going to apply this with a flat top brush just underneath the arch of my brow bone just to kind of highlight that area. Next for the eyes I'm taking this colour Ebony which is a super black colour. I've used this in a tutorial before and I absolutely am in love with it. I think this is like my go-to black shade from now on because it is just so, so black and I'm taking it on like a little pencil brush I'm literally going to apply it just to the edge of where that tape is just to add a bit of definition to the outer V area so I'm just going to run along the tape and then bring it just kind of into the crease like that so really simple, you're creating kind of like a sideways triangle So next I'm going in with that ebony colour again and that little pencil brush and I'm just going to apply it just to the outer corner of my lower lashes, just the tiniest amount, just to create a little bit more definition. You can use brown if you don't want to do black and just doing the tiniest amount. And I wiped off that pencil brush, that same pencil brush again and I'm going to go in with the nude palette again from Catrice and I'm going to take the darkest colour in it, it's a dark brown. I'm just going to apply that just beside where I applied the black and just kind of run them in together into the nude colour that's in the inner corner. Now you can take your big fluffy blending brush again and just kind of blend all those colours on the lower lashes just into each other just to make them a little bit more seamless. My eyebrows are looking a little sad at the moment so I'm taking Elizabeth Arden's um, soft blonde eye eyeshadow eyebrow colour and I'm going to use an angle brush just to apply that and just fill in the natural shape of my eyebrows. So 
So next I'm going to apply my mascara and I'm taking the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Lash Extending Treatment Mascara. Talk about a mouthful. So I'm going to give my lashes a good two coats of this. So no eye look would be complete without lashes. These are the Amazing Shine Lashes, number 43, and I really like them. So that's what they look like up close. They're just really kind of natural. They remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're real hair and they just look incredible on. When you're applying these eyelashes, make sure you measure them up to your eye because they may need to be cut lengthwise. So they may might be too long this length. So just make sure that you cut them to your own size. So once you apply the glue to these lashes, you can leave them to dry or you can do what I do, shake them like a Polaroid picture just to speed up the process. Just a little tip for when you're applying fake eyelashes, if you get a little mirror and you put it down just a little bit so you can look into the mirror while you're applying the eyelashes. You can also apply eyelashes with tweezers as well but I just find that using my fingers is fine. But applying eyelashes looking into a mirror like this is so much easier than looking face on to a mirror. So want to make sure the band of the lashes meets up with the base of your own natural lashes, like that. Applying eyelashes can be a little bit difficult and in Wheelhands Pharmacy we actually offer free eyelash application. Um, you just have to buy your eyelashes and your glue and I think it comes to like a fiver. And I apply the eyelashes for you. So if you're going to like a big event and you're finding that applying your eyelashes is a bit tricky, you can pop into the pharmacy and I will apply them or one of the other girls will apply them for you. And now for the final step and let's be real, this is what we all came here for, it's to see the lip look. I'm going to take the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Colour Lip Liner in Red Door Red. If you want a long lasting lip pencil, these are the ones you go for. They're retractable and they're twisty and they have a little pair on the bottom and they're just, just everything I love about them. I'm sure that it is really pointed. I've pared this down, the little pair comes in the bottom. Just because you want a really defined line on your lip. And I'm just going to trace my natural lip look and fill the whole thing in with this lip pencil. Now if you're happy enough with their lip liner on its own or you want it to stick with a red lip, by all means do. These lip liners are like a dream to go on. I'm going to go in with the beautiful colour lipstick from Elizabeth Arden in Sangria and it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy red type colour. It is just so amazing. I've been eyeing this up for a long time but obviously it wasn't the right time of the year to be wearing it. These Elizabeth Arden lipsticks go on so easily. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to zoom in on the look so you can see a little bit more detail of how it looks. This is a gorgeous look for the winter. The formulation of the Elizabeth Arden lipsticks is amazing. They are so creamy and they last for ages. I'm going to zoom in on the look now. So that's what it looks like. There are the eyes and the lips. And I just think it is a really kind of winter slash autumn look and I hope you enjoy it. So guys, thanks so much for watching. All the items I use in this video will be listed down below and you can buy them all in Wheelahan's Pharmacy. So get the whole look in one place. So thanks so much guys for watching. Talk to you in my next video. Bye!